So this will be about Letitia James, okay? This will be very interesting. So if you like the video, I hope you do like it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very, very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So Letitia James, I mean, she did it all herself. She moved up in her life to this great position. But some people think that maybe this whole deal with Cuomo was her play towards being governor. Let's see. Okay, so Letitia James, let's see what I tell you what I wikied about her. It's very short. So in 1958, Letitia Ann Tish James was born on October 18th. So she's a Libra. And uh, she was born and raised in Park Slope, Brooklyn, New York. Letitia is one of eight children and attended New York City public schools. Uh, she's an American lawyer, an activist, and a politician, and a member of the Democratic Party now. In 1981, Letitia received her BA from the City, City University of New York's Lehman College after majoring in liberal arts with an emphasis on social work. Can't speak today. Uh, James attended the Columbia School of International and Public Affairs for a degree in Master of Public Administration, and she received her JD degree from the from Howard University of Law in Washington, D.C. Don't know what year. 1989, Letitia was admitted to private practice. Uh, oh, she was uh, you know admitted to pri private practice in New York State, and she was chief of staff in New York State Assembly in the, in the administration of uh, the New York Attorney General. Uh, I don't know what year that was either. Gosh, I'm not doing too well. Anyway, in uh, 1999, she was appointed the first assistant attorney general in charge of the Brooklyn uh, Regional Office. And then in 2003, she was working in uh, f the Families Party. Okay, so a third party. So she was working as the Families Party nominee and was the first member of a third party to win an office in New York State. And then in 2004 to 2013, James served as a member of the New York uh, City Council. And then, but 2013 to 2018, she was the New York City public uh, advocate. So, and so, and then 2018, uh, Ms. James won an election as Attorney General and was the first Amer African American woman elected uh, to that position. She served on former New York Governor uh, Mario Cuomo's task force on diversity in the judiciary, but in 2021, Letitia James has announced her intention to run for governor of New York in 2022. Let's see what the cards have to say about Letitia. So this is Llewellyn's Classic Tarot, uh, book by Barbara Moore and illustrations by Eugene Smith. Love the box that this comes in. It's got that neat uh, magnetic clasp on there that I'm just a sucker for. The book is very good. I mean, it's a full color book. It's got very good um, suggestions for how you can use these cards in the divination. And then it talks a little bit in here also about uh, Barbara Moore, Eugene Smith. So I, I like the book. The cards, I mean, everything about this works. You can, you've got a little ribbon to help you pull the book out and then it double, does double duty to help get the cards out. And let me show you those. Now, if I understand correctly, the idea that Llewellyn had is that this is the Rider Waite system, but it is a clearer, uh, less cluttered um, uh, images for the uh, divination uh, of the cards. So that's apparently was his uh, remit to um, the uh, illustrator or the artist, uh, Eugene Smith. I'll let you spread them out like this so you can get a chance to, you know, just look at the cards. If you don't look at cards a lot, or maybe if you're thinking about buying some cards and you're thinking about these, you run across this, and this gives you an idea if you'd like to have them. I don't know. I just like to spread them out this way. It's an alternative way of shuffling them, and it works really well if you're doing a reading and you have someone who might not feel comfortable shuffling the cards, but at least you can kind of get their energy uh, into the uh, cards this way. So this is classic tarot, and I like them a lot. Okay, Letitia James, let's see what the cards can tell us about this. You know, some folks think that um, 
perhaps running for governor was in the back of her mind um, when uh, she brought this case against Cuomo? Uh, or could it be that uh, once the information came up and she realized there would be, wow, she realized there would be a case against Cuomo, did she then think, oh, I wonder if this can set me up to run for governor? Or did the information just come up? Uh, she said it was horrible. She saw that it was terrible. And then after the fact, uh, it occurred to her, okay, this is something I could do. So that's kind of what I want to know. You know, did is she is she an honest prosecutor? I mean, we've kind of forgotten that she's um, on this uh, Trump mission, too. And um, it all seems to be focused on this uh, governor's race. So... Let's see what the cards can tell us about her sincerity. So Trish, uh, Letitia James, Letitia James, what's your story? Is this, is your, are your prosecution targets uh, legitimate? No, that's not a good question. Um, oh, uh, the prosecutions that you're, you're running, do they have to do with your political ambitions? Is that fair? I think it's fair. The prosecutions you're running, do they have to do with your political ambitions? Let's do um, three cards for that. One, two, and three. Three cards for Letitia James. Are these prosecutions, do they have to do with your political ambitions? Do any of them have to do with your political ambitions? Signifier card for that. Oh, Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle. It's a dead stop. So we don't know if this means uh, the people that she's prosecuting, uh, that she's looking for a dead stop for them. I don't, it seems most accurate. I don't know how this would apply otherwise, but it's the end of a cycle and something else is going to start. Let's see what the next card is. Um, okay. Two of Swords. Two of Swords. Making a choice. Huh. Oh, I got crumbs on the table. I was having a little snack. <laughs> um... Two of Swords, making a choice. You know, swords, and I should have mentioned this here, swords are, are truth, justice, rules, law. Okay? Uh, trying to, having to make a choice. And this uh, figure is, is blind, like, like we say justice is blind, and you just go after the truth and uh, the justice. So going back to this, um, I'm going to say if we consider all these rules and law, I think that, uh, yeah, she's, she's her, her first um, instinct here was to stop what was happening. And uh, then she realized that she has a choice that she can make regarding her political future, perhaps. Let's see what the last card is. And the last card, King of Wands. Plans. Being the king of your plans. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it was. So it looks to me like the first instinct was, let's stop these injustices. Let's halt all this. And then I think the choice as to whether, oh, this may in fact uh, further my political career. And now she's in the process of uh, adding that plan to this other uh, situation. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Okay, so that seems fair to me. Now, on the specific Mario Cuomo um, sexual allegations uh, situation, which is which is the path towards uh, the governorship, but of course it doesn't really put her in um, competition with Cuomo anymore. It puts her in competition with Kathy Hochul. Huh. So Letitia James, Letitia James. Let's ask for the first six cards of the Celtic Cross. If. Uh, your decisions in this Mario Cuomo prosecution are coloring, and you becoming uh, running for governor are coloring that. And then for the last part of that cross, we'll address the Kathy Hochul uh, part of it. That sounds right. Okay, so the Mario Cuomo sexual allegations. Um, is this your primary uh, uh, reason for this uh, these prosecutions? I think it, well, we'll see. One, two three, four, five, and six. Yeah. So for Mario Cuomo, that prosecution, um, is the justice in that your primary focus or is uh, clearing your way for the governorship your focus? The signifier card, King of Swords. Okay. Well, okay. So this is, this is truth, justice, rules, law. Okay. So this is a very strong indicator that, no, we're talking about justice here. The challenge to that, though, is look at this another king a king of cups compassion emotion um heartfelt uh situations and really being in charge of that so i think this just kind of backs up this that this is something that's close to her heart and uh, it's the emotional um 
involvement of this <clears throat> that uh, really is uh, focus, guiding her focus too. So for me, these two cards are really saying, no, it's the getting the justice out of this. But let's see what the base of this reading is. What brought into it? So this is the Page of Cups. You know, I always tell you that the page is just bringing a message to court. He's a messenger. And uh, the message is a compassionate and emotional uh, message with a surprise. And that surprise could be the added benefit of this uh, maybe uh, leading towards a path towards that uh, gubernatorial uh, run, perhaps. But in any case, the base of this is this page who brought this compassionate message to the attention of the uh, prosecutors. That makes sense. And the past of this reading, then, is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, now this is Letitia. So the Queen of Pentacles right here, she's realizing her worth. Okay, she's uh, in this very fruitful, this very uh, lush environment. And Letitia James comes into this, okay, understanding uh, her value. Okay, now I think we're getting towards that uh, gov gubernatorial situation. In the sky of this reading is the Seven of Cups. Yep. So these are all the choices that can be made. It's sometimes called illusion and delusion, but otherwise it can be known as, you know, really having a plethora of, of avenues that you can go to. So I think once all this started to come to fruition, then some other things in the sky started to become clear. The clouds parted, and all these other choices are now um, uh, look like an option, which means the... Um, the uh, go gubernatorial uh, race for me. The likely outcome of this first part of this then is, um, look at this, another king, a plan. And just like it was repeated in this first two cards, so this is the plan. Yeah, the likely outcome of all of this is the plan to move this forward with a lot of strength. Wow, Letitia, you're a tough cookie. Now let's talk about the Kathleen Hochul part of this. And I'm going to shuffle these cards just to kind of maybe refocus them on uh, Letitia and Kathleen Hochul. Letitia against Kathleen Hochul. And I want to know, I kind of want to know if you're going to do it, if it's going to, if it's going to work out for you. Letitia and Kathleen Hochul. Because Letitia is used to working these prosecutions towards and maneuvering towards a goal. And Kathleen Hochul, that hasn't really been the focus in her career. So the signifier of this card, Letitia and Kathleen Hochul, is this going to work out in your favor, Letitia? Ah, another message right next to this other page. So this uh, this page, this messenger is bringing with him this sort of truth, justice, rules, law. Okay, so this is going to be the um, the benchmark of her campaign, I think. Okay, her her, her justice uh, experience. That's in the environment of what though? That's in the environment of ah. Ten of Cups, happy family. This means a couple of things. It can mean that this is going to be a, a terrific success. Uh, she's going to have all these trophies of uh, emotional worth uh, to display uh, her um, her prosecutorial uh, expertise. And this is a big yes card, happy family. So that's interesting. I'll go back and recap this in a moment to, to clarify the story. And then the hopes and the fears of all this... Uh, Letitia James and Kathleen Hochul. So this is a Five of Swords. You know, the Five of Swords is many times thought of as an abuse of power. In this case, you've got one uh, victor here who's kind of taken all the swords kind of uh, for their for their bounty, and they've left some other people in the in the lurch here. These folks are looking back as to say, "Wow, how could you do that to me?" And they're just leaving the scene. I don't know. This for me, this is like a victory card for Letitia. Uh, in this regard. She's still carrying all those uh, truths, all that justice. But the likely outcome of the whole thing, Letitia and Kathy Hochul, look at that, a great big ace of swords. This is a victory. This is a yes card, and it has to do with the law. And uh, I'm going to say that maybe she's going to, she could make it. She can get there. So we'll go over it again. Let me just talk about it again very um, to really clarify the case. So the first part of this is, was, is this, or her, is her prosecutorial path uh, legitimate and not colored by something else? And we started out with the signifier of, yeah, I'm carrying this, uh, this uh, sword of uh, rules and law, and I'm strong in this, and this is where I'm going with this. And then it's then challenged by, but almost companioned by, this king of cups, which is all the uh, compassion and emotion having to do with these issues. But look, there's a surprise jumping out of the water uh, in this. And there's the beginning of a plan in this uh, um, uh, what do you call it, scepter that this uh, king is carrying. 
Did you know this king doesn't have a scepter? So this is where the plan starts. The base of the reading then was the um, was this uh, page bringing forth this emotional situation. And look, the surprise is just repeated uh, right here in this fish jumping out and this fish jumping. Okay, so that the surprise was always there. It just came more evident as it started to work out. Uh, in the past of this reading then is this Queen of Pentacles, and that's Letitia really in, being in complete control and knowledgeable and, and embracing her value, her worth. Okay, and in the sky, this is just all the choices then that opened up to her to say, okay, I don't just have to prosecute all these cases, which is good with all the cases. Um, I can also uh, make a choice towards my own uh, uh, value, my own uh, furthering my career. And then, like the outcome of the whole thing for that first part, regarding more so the prosecutions, and then plus her path is this king of uh, wands, whose wands are action, motion, power, forward going, uh, fire, and this is the king, so she's gone from a king of justice to a king of uh, compassion, and then a king of uh, getting this plan uh, going, uh, which I'm going to say has to do with this political run. And then we said, what's the self of the question between her and Kathleen Hochul? Well, again, the messenger comes up and says, don't forget, I'm the justice, I'm the law candidate. This is uh, what I'm bringing to the, to the scene. And uh, it's in the environment of all the success that I have along these regards, and this is also a big yes card speaks to happy family almost uh, almost familial wealth but that's more the ten of coins but really you know overflowing with all the emotional uh, value that the situation can bring and then with the uh, hopes of the fears and this five of swords this a lot of times we want to say it's an abuse of power but for me this looks like a victor this victor has scooped up all the uh, uh, the law and the, and the justice has said I'm in charge you guys Get out, of the, uh, get out of the scene. And then with the final outcome, with this great big offer of truth, justice, rules, law. Yeah, it looks like uh, she's going to pull this off. So we'll see. Time will tell. So I don't know. What do you think about that? Um, it's just what the cards say. So hope you like the read. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go. So stop on by. Ciao for now.